Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat and I meditate and I just totally chillax and think about things that I need to think about so that I can keep my head straight and keep my focus and keep um, my positivity. Because right now it's been so difficult to do that because, well, for one, the the general astrology has been off the chain, like so many like cantankerous transits that causes everybody just to feel like burdened. <laughs> but um, I do this because I want to help people too and I can help myself and hopefully by helping myself I can help others. So that's what I do. Anyway, today I kind of wanted to change it up because I've been going through so much crap, you know, and I don't want to just get on here and talk about my problems, but I do it in that so that I can help resolve my problems. I usually try to get, not just talk about my problems, but I talk about solutions. And so, um, one thing that I've been dealing with is I have a few extra pounds on. Now, some people would say, and I, I myself would say, I'm not that into the like, emaciated look I definitely like I'm curvy and I love myself so I like you know I like curves whatever but sometimes you can have a too few many <laughs> curves and I feel like that's where I am right now and I know that it's partly because I haven't been able to work out because I broke my wrist and also because it, it's just been really stressful and and so I wanted to talk about weight in an emotional from an emotional standpoint and how we can inadvertently sabotage our um, health and weight and um, all of that by our emotions. Number one, sometimes people tend to, and I know I do, um, eat to try to soothe the emotions, right? So you eat out of, um, to try to feel better and for sure eating is one of the great pleasures of this you know being incarnated here and and really enjoying food and and all of that so but when you're in an emotion or, or a highly emotional state that's the worst time to eat because you try to eat to make yourself feel better and before you know it you could have consumed you know a friggin entire pizza or whatever <laughs> entire gallon of ice cream whatever it is. So that's something to be really conscious about if you're trying to tone up or slim down is where are your emotions and how are they affecting your weight and or your ability to, to lose extra pounds, right? So another thing to consider, and this is what I've been considering because I have not been eating out of comfort. I've been actually on a relatively restricted diet and trying to really rein all that in and um, because I still haven't been able to really exercise properly I went running the other day and injured my hip which has caused me great pain and suffering <clears throat> but I'm not gonna belabor that I'm just gonna focus on healing that and doing other things in the meantime that will help me get to my fit tight self okay so um, but the other thing I was thinking is that Sometimes when we're going through very emotional times, even if we don't eat for um, comfort, so to speak, through our emotions, we can tend to hold on to weight emotionally. It's almost like an emotional security blanket, which I understand energetically it's like your body because of physiological and biological programming from hundreds of thousands of years of being a human we hold on to weight when we're under stress because historically in stressful times that means there was lack or you know famine or some sort of terrible thing that was gonna cause us to need to have extra weight so that we could stay healthy and not you know and have extra fat on our bones so that we didn't you know die of starvation or something crazy but that's past now that still happens physiologically biologically whatever physically and so we have to be really aware that when we get into a prolonged 
heightened emotional stressful state that we can tend to hold on to or put on weight and keep it. So how do you deal with that? <laughs> how do we deal with that? Well, first of all, you got to get to the bottom of why you feel stressed and, and how you can become, number one, less stressed. And if you know what it is that's stressing you out, change it, you know, Ch finally make the change. And, and, and the reality is once you do that, the weight will fall off, you know, I mean, you can't continue to eat like an emotional eater and, or just a, you know, haphazard eater and expect to lose weight. But, um, once you get your emotions and your stress level down, your weight will stabilize and become normalized in a more healthy range. Okay. So now I know that. And so I got to work on my stress level, my pain level and with these injuries that I'm dealing with, which cause more stress and also putting myself in situations that I know are going to stress me out. Right? So that's just asking for, another pound to stay on, you know, I got plenty. Right? <laughs> Anywho, so that's what I'm going to meditate on today. It's already 134. I got almost an hour to go in here. And so, um, thank you so much for, uh, watching. I hope I gave you a little insight today on some things that can help, um, in some way. And, please subscribe. I really, really want to be of service and you have questions, you can submit questions and I'll talk about them, how to deal with things, whatever. Um, and so thank you so much. And 